Hi, this is Bernhard Wiemann and I will show you how to set up your steering wheel in Torx today. After that we will run a little practice session. So let's start and navigate to the Configure Players menu and to set up a new player. We call it according to car we choose later so we can identify which car this players use easily and set up multiple players for using different cars. As level I choose Pro, this means we receive maximum damage on crashes and such and have the least grip on the tires. Now we are ready to set up the steering wheel. Just hit the function and move the axis or controller or key or whatever you want to assign. An important point here for me is that throttle and brake are on different axes so you can control them separately. Because my wheel is already a bit worn out, I choose to steer that zone as 0 0.01, not just 0 and the steer sensibility for the wheel I take 1. Now we can go to the calibration screen and just follow the instructions there. Now we are done with our player setup and can navigate to the race screen. So we are ready to race now, but I would like to introduce you into the controls you have over the cameras and other things. To get an overview over all the keys, you can hit F1 and then you get the complete list of all keys which are assigned and do something. Various keys do not just switch on or off an item, they cycle through various modes, so just try it. I will start now with on-screen displays like the counter, leaderboard, map and such. Then let's cycle through the various camera views. Okay, so let's start driving. The car I chose is a car 8 TRB1, so it is a quite light car, it's around 1100 kilograms and it has quite a bit of downforce, so this means that you can brake at high speeds much more than at low speeds. What people sometimes ask is if the robots have an advantage, 
and they actually don't, they just run on mode semi-pro, so if you set up your driver being semi-pro, you have the same physics and behavior like the robots. Okay, I seem to have a bit trouble here. I guess it was because I turned in the steering wheel too much, so there was a load shift to the front and the additional banking led to the rear going out. Okay, here I simply missed the apex. Just to mention that it was not as easy to drive as usual because uh, the screen capturing software which encodes the video in the background, so... Okay, I guess here was the problem that the uh, wheels get airborne because I was too fast and they turn in too much. So I lost it here. What you have to consider is that uh, the setup is not specific for that track, it's a general setup for all tracks. And uh, you cannot change this easily from Torx directly by now. If you are willing to, you can create an XML file with, with contains track specific settings for your car, but uh, that's not too easy.
as you can see the times get better lap by lap and that's actually nice so if you practice you will get faster and faster I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and see you another time. Bye!